but I'm just playing it as it comes and enjoying the isness of what it is. I'm gonna do this. Boom. Boom. And all things are washed away. If we lose this one, the title's gonna become Getting Ass Kicked at Slay Spire. Oh. See, L tells me this is unprofessional, but like, I'm so comfortable like this. And I feel like I play so much better when I'm like this. So, I know it's unprofessional, but like, if I just let myself be as I am right now, I can be the happy naked genius that I, that I aspire to be. If I just let myself stretch. Oh. Like, I normally have good posture, but when your leg is up, you know... You know you're about to win a run. Alright, we got ball any loop. Emulate is a huge for Act 2, man. That's a tough question. Silent, that is a tough question. Emulate is huge for Act 2 elites. Feed is also really good. You have a Corruption Exhaust deck. So you rely on a combo with Corruption Exhaust, which means you would like to have some HP to your to your face so that you could reliably get your combo off because once you get your Corruption combo, you win. Is that what you're saying? So do you think that max HP would further increase your goals of winning the run down the line because you have max HP? Or do you think that killing things quickly with a big AoE would further increase your odds? Knowing that Emily is very strong for Act 2, Hallways, and Elites. Make the, make the decision. You, you know best. But know what both things are prevent, presenting you. <laughs> I was holding my foot. didn't even realize. That's actually not my foot, by the way. That's not my foot. And that tan line is definitely not mine. That's not my foot, by the way. Well, I want to walk dogs. Imagine putting your shoes on for walking the dogs. Imagine having to put shoes every time you walk dogs. And I walk dogs like five times a day. More than five times a day. Sometimes. Maybe around five times a day. The wife brought me home a half a chicken bacon ranch melt from Subway. Boy, oh boy, share with the class. I am hungry. David, thanks for Twitch Prime. Welcome back, buddy. Good evening, Clayton. All right, guys. Elite time. Choices are abound. And into the deep we go. Walking my dogs is like my second job. Yep, it is, a, it is absolutely another job of mine. It truly is.
Well, no. So look, you wake up in the morning, you walk the dogs, you feed them, you walk them again. You walk them at some point in the middle of the day because they have to pee and poop or sometimes or just have to pee. It's the third time. You feed them again, you walk them again after you're feeding. That's the fourth time. And then you walk them again at some point at night time because they have to go to the bathroom one more time. So the fifth time. So twice in the morning, once in the middle of the day, once again after they eat dinner, then once again before bed. So walks are not very long. I, I guess I should clarify that it's not leisure. It's more business. The walks that I do. They're business walks, not leisure walks. But sometimes I go leisurely. So if I have a long stream or let's say I had like a um I wanna think a little bit, I'll I'll take them on a nice long walk and I'll walk around much longer than usual, and that's leisurely for them. Uh do I die here? <laughs> I think I just die here. <laughs> I think I'm just dead here, boys. Okay, we gotta think. Jesus Christ, Arthemio, I was talking business. You have it not only business, but science. Look at that guy. See, I walk my dogs, wake up, feed them, walk them again, etc. This guy's got a science, and I approve. One thing that really pains me, one thing that's hard for me, is that I, I want to feel, or I want to do more for the dogs, you know? Because I'm at home at a time, I'm on the computer. Now imagine a dog who doesn't have a computer and living their life at our home, you know, as our pets. They've got to be bored sometimes. They've got to have to mental simulation. I just want to do more for them, but I also don't do enough. Like I want to take them to parks and maybe train them to do yoga and surf and ride skateboards. But instead, you know, I'm here streaming and they're sleeping and yeah, I feel for them, but I love them and I do. I give them the best life I can. And that's what I can do. Represent. Happy dogs means a happy life makes a walk walks up exactly. Alright, what are we gonna do here? Yeah, Thermio is real scheduled. That guy is he's disciplined. I think I can write a book right now. How to walk your dogs and live a good life. Now it's a simple premise. It starts with this. I walk my dogs at these exact times. And it seems simple. But this is how I changed my life. I think I was a goddamn fix it, get better self help writer or something. Um, we have 24 damage. What does Skopal do for us? 24, next turn we have 9. So 24 plus 9. Um, let's do the math. 18 plus 24. Alright. 50, 52. 42. 42, which means I need. Uh, fuck. I need to hit a ball lightning. A ball lightning would be 18 damage. A ball lightning strike next turn. That's what I need. Yikes. No, I, I'm sure you're right, I think, you know, I think I could have done a lot of things better. Like consistency and... I'm sure dogs appreciate that, you know, knowing exactly when they're going to walk, they, they have something to look forward to. I mean, my dogs, they have an estimate of, I, I try to feed them around like 11, or like 11, 12 when I wake up, 11 usually. And then I, walk, I feed them again at 6 p.m. I usually always feed them at 6 p.m. So that's like as consistent as I, as I am there. Oh yes, yeah, so we have 42. That means I need to get ball landing in one strike next turn. Now there was a chance that I got double energy. Double energy means I do strike, strike, and then I only need ball lightning. So maybe scope out was necessary. Did I throw? So what can scope out give me now? Then now that I have energy, because energy was a little bit better because you have double energy as an option. That's awesome selling clashes. I know it gives him strength. I know that it gives him strength. That much I know. This is true. I know he gets strength. That's a fact. Well, now that I have no energy, it makes the skills worse because uh, recall uh, recycle is a thing, and I don't have double energy as an option anymore. 
So what could I achieve? I can get like Dark Orb, that wouldn't be enough. I can get Rainbow. Rainbow would be good here. I'll, I'll wait till next turn. I got a Bald Any Strike. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't account for the fact that Metallus has a thing. So you have 18 plus 6. Um, let me do the math. 18, 24, 24 plus 9. You. So there's a level of, are you shitting me that happens? And you know what, what's important here is the boot, right? So if you do 4, okay, so that means the boot is actually, the boot actually saves you? The boot does 5 damage, right? Fucking boot! It's a boot time! It's a boot time, mother. Yes, let's go. Woo wee! Isn't it lovely? Isn't it wonderful? The only time in history where the boot has accomplished something. Well, it was fun. We died here. It was a good game, guys. It was fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Ow. I can't do genetic, unfortunately, but I want self repair, maybe? Self repair, self repair, self repair. Mm -hmm. Boom! Man, I am on it, like hooked on phonics. Mr. Rebound. Mr. Rebound. Can sometimes hit Reinforced Body, can sometimes hit Genet uh, Hologram Plus if we get that. It can hit Reinforced Body, it can Ball Lightning, who's the boss? Everyone can help me with Reinforced Body and Hologram if I upgrade Hologram. So let's say we don't rest. Let's say in this crazy world we call love, we um, we don't rest. We upgrade Hologram actually, for more consistency of life in terms of block. I mean life in terms of strictly block. So I have another ability to get block again. And then we don't have Frost, but we do have... Rebound now for reinforced body and other things and hologram. Maybe that's worth it. Yeah, cool Skill pot as well And power pot as well Maybe hello world was better because of cool snap. I should have thought about that more I want to get this out of the deck I want to get Art of War. Excuse me. Your screams are too loud. Do we care about dicks? Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Do we care about focus? Isn't I'm I'm trying to assert my dominance in the way of that way. I'm not. Um, look how excited he is. Look how excited he is. If that's not a dog that wants to go outside and lay in the sun and sunbathe. I don't know what is. He's saying, there's a door, let me sunbathe. It's a block card. It gets worse, but it's a block card. Multicast can be useful for splitting. It was not my intention. There was intentions and this was not it.
Twas optimal to take damage last turn for better draws. Potions. Was it worth it? I'll let I'll let somebody decide. Um, Rainbow versus Buffer is the option. Buffer plus versus Rainbow. Oh, I have the upgrade buffer. Rainbow gives us a dark orb, but it also gets gives us a frost. Pyramid. Pyramid at times of Sentinel Puzzle will be a little bit awkward, especially if I have a two cost rainbow. But I'll tell you what, lads. In all my time of wandering through the spire, fiending for that victory, I've come to the conclusion that Pyramid. Gets winds, gets buckets. Now, I really want to get a shop here, but it's all hallway fights, and then there's an elite. Where's the alternative? Break mall bank early. Well, this is a turn. Logic check out, like logic checks out. Because nah. I want to add this as an emote, because because I have this. Let me show you real quick. I've got this photo that I use for thumbnails. I can make it to a. I can make it to an emote really quickly. So. I'm gonna do that maybe soon. Maybe I'll do it real, real soon. But like, I'm just gonna make this an emote. What do you guys think? Just like, like gem lol. Ready? Just like make this an emote. Let me show you. We got some more emotes coming. We got emotes coming finally. Finally, lads. I talked to the appropriate people. Why can't we see it? Uh, uh, uh. Why can't we see this thing? Hello? what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this like an email like that. I'm gonna crop it like this. Is this like a, for like German lol? Because I have these photos on my computer, I'm not using them. It's bright, I apologize. Okay. 
Haleluya 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 You're distracting me You're an ultra distraction Listen, L, I've been slaying myself in the spire the, the people in the chat are like, Jeremy, what's going on with you? You can't do math You're making wrong decisions it's Supposed to be a streak, it's more like a meek And then Alright, there you go, are you happy? Are you satisfied? No, no, you know what we Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. I, major distractions. Give me one second. Okay. A Melter Plus is crazy because there's things like uh, Spheric Guardian and I would love that damage, right? And we, and we can hold on to Melter. Here's the beautiful thing. You appear me, you can hold on to it. Yo, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime Wolfie. I appreciate it. Welcome back, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Three months, huge. So, Recycle is really big for Pyramid as well. But Melter... Destroys your Guardian and it's just... It's gotta be Recycle. Fuck. Monster Plus is tempting. It's good damage too. I don't like this girl. She's about to fuck my world up. Our world's getting sufficiently fucked up right now. Ooh. Guys, why are these choices so damn difficult? Um, I always want to know how do we chat, comment, and watch at the same time? Well, here's what you can do. Um, so if you full screen, the chat's on the left, right? So since the chat's on the left and you're full screen, you have a phone in your hands. Now you have a mobile device, you're typing comments, but you're not seeing your keyboard because you're looking at the screen. Now when you're looking at the screen, you're going to see the chat on the left. So when you're looking at the left, you see the pomic. So you need theater mode for bigger screen, basically, or a second device to chat with full screen. That's the gist of it. There's also second monitor, pop out chat, a lot of different things. You can put me on a TV, you can project me. And that, that, now that feels weird. I don't know why. Some people do this, they watch streams on TV. But when I know that somebody's watching me on a TV, it feels a lot more illuminated. Like, you're just looking at me in a big screen, it, it feels more vulnerable. But I mean, maybe not so much anymore, but I remember when I was first streaming, somebody would be like, hey, I'm watching you on the big screen. And then I heard that in the back of my mind, I'm like, well, I feel a little weird about that. But not in a bad way, just like... It, it does mean that. So, oh, I have to decide between Leap and Darkness, and you're here talking about doggy licks. Yes. I request that for five minutes, you close the door so I don't die. Because Act 2 is very difficult, L. It's very difficult. I see him. All right. I see him. I see him. Oh, be be you're beautiful. You put your face right there. Put your face right there. There you go. There you go. Hey. There you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, shit. There you go. All right, all right. And then work, no more. Bye, bye. Pick him up. Leap versus darkness. Do I want the block here? I only use my TV for two from being towards another apartment. I, I feel you. I feel you. I feel that. I think Leap is going to save me a lot of life. Whoa. Oh, now you have a speaker of me or my stream playing? Oh, I swear, I swear to God, oh, <laughs> what are you doing to me, dude? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so we have, 
I, I would have put me on a speaker in the other room. I hear myself loud as hell. Okay, so we have clockwork and we have rod. Do you like the rod here? I f somehow I feel like rod's not worth the money. Like it's really good, but it's not worth the money. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Snap. Now that's a lot of money for something that could be a loop and a removal. I still hear myself, L. If I lose this run, all blame is on L and only L. I have a, these strikes are recycle fodder. Hmm. Yes, if I think that every run is for 7-0, I will play a million times better. A couple of things that talk about the psychology of human brain when you're playing Slither Spire. It's an intense game. It's very mentally exhausting. And when you're playing for streak mentality, I promise you this, you can only do one or two runs a day if you're really thinking about playing optimally. It's exhausting. You also, there's also burnout, right? You feel burnt out. There's also other factors of playing sloppy and just like not being focused, which I haven't been focused, but... Um, I think in an ideal world with ideal conditions, if you focus on two strong runs every day, the streak could happen a lot quicker. But normally from your day to day, you wake up and you, your motivation is a factor, and focus is a factor, uh, your ability to like, there's a lot of different things. But yeah, if you play slow, you definitely win a lot more. All right. Anyways, let's think about this. Stack is interesting. Yeah, stack with pyramid is a good way to block. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of the time I go, for, uh, guys. I mean, if you watched it all this this week, this week has been like good decks piloted by a monkey. Hate to say it. Sometimes it'd be like that, and that's okay, guys. It's okay. It's okay to be a monkey sometimes. Hmm. I don't know if Rod's worth the money, guys. What if I want to get Dupai here for the elite? I think I want to do properly leak here. Okay. Question: Stack. Get some block going because we do we do lack a little bit of some decent block, but it's not upgraded. I'm not like. Dying for it. A second hologram is pretty good because the second hologram means more recycle, which means more clearing, which means more energy, which means doing more reinforced bodies as well. What I really want is frost for defrag. Guys, I kind of want to play Richard Feynman's speeches in the background. Wait, did that work how I think it worked?
This is really good. Wait, Sir Gridham. Oh god, guys. Guys, the two pots are out of sync. I understand, man. 4 a.m. It's 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 a hell of a drug. I I understand. That's funny. It's funny, man. That's pretty funny. <laughs> 4 a.m. is a hell of a drug. Insomnia, I could unite. If I didn't have this, I would die. Just like why? <laughs> Holy shit, I would die. Oh my god. He's so dead right now. Oh guys, look at this play. 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 You ready? You ready? Ready? Are you fucking ready, boys? Look at this play. Did I get genetic played? Alright, I don't get genetic played. Do we greet for genetic? We can't, right? Can't greet for genetic. Sometimes you just can't greet for genetic. Unless this is a buffer. Now, if this is a buffer, I can greet for genetic. Alright? And then I can get genetic. Also get a potion drops. But. You know, I can't greet for genetic. And he drops a potion. I had a feeling. Frost, I need frost so bad. Can we rest here? We upgrade recycle. You can't greed there though. That's just stupid to greed there. Whoa, Mama Jamba. Now, loop is interesting. Loop may be proactive. More proactive here. Creative AI is a doozy. Just for you guys, I'm gonna go in Savat Icelandic brain mode. I'm gonna win the next five runs. Here we go. I'm gonna do the math of no notes. I value out of war too much here. Fuck. I don't want to waste hologram, but maybe I just have to. I value out of war pretty well, pretty highly. Maybe I just do hologram full block, then I don't get this proc, but then I get energy art of war next turn, and then... I don't have hologram, but... Hmm... We have to, we have to value art of war here, right? Now I could do electro, but it's not as good without defrag, you can get it out of the way, then you do get the card draw, and you get art of war as well. And you get to keep hologram. Now hologram is important because we can do things like recycle, darkness twice, go at it if we need to, more weaken, etc. So maybe we do electro damage here. And we can get full block here. And we won't have hologram, but maybe that's not that important because we have rebounds.
Did I ever get rid of Electro here? Oh, you tried donating some money? Um, I haven't seen it yet, but uh, thank you for donating money, man. Uh, the fact that I can't draw into defrag is a little bit unfortunate because I think I have to do defrag doubled here. The problem with this is I only have enough energy. To, I need to do cool headed defrag and reinforce body in, in that exact order. I think the duplication on defrag is necessary. Now, if there's another play, I need to find out now. The other play could be reinforced body doubled, but then we're not being proactive enough. So, it's extremely important that we do cool headed and then it hits defrag. If it doesn't, we lose. Now, is there another thing I could do instead? Uh, I need Art of War here. So I need to get lucky, 50% chance to hit the defrag. I think that's the only thing I can do. Let me check. Let me check if uh, the donation went through. Oh, it didn't come up, but I, yeah, dude. Thank you, $20. I don't like live but i probably watched a hundred of your videos so i guess you deserve this so thank you so much for 20 dollars, man thank you i'm not sure why i didn't show up let's see if we can huh yeah, my directions are acting up actually silvio with twitch prime thank you i also didn't come up did it my, my alerts are all messed up right now Weird. Hey, my other all fucked up. Uh, fifty percent chance. What is the other alternative now? The alternative is like doing reinforced body, but that seems pretty lazy, huh? But I can guarantee reinforced body next turn. Uh, I can guarantee. Defrag next turn, but the problem is I need block for 42 next turn. Ah, fuck me, dude. Fixing some stuff. Oh, shit. that works. Subs over dubs. I don't know. I'll, f I'll look at it later. Um, is there another play that I could be doing? Because next turn they're, they're blocked for forty-two. How do I block for forty-two next turn? Do I have to go for lethal here? Do 
Do I have to do darkness twice and then six plus fourteen? Do I have to do darkness twice and then reinforce body and then next turn I have to um Alright, let's do math time. Alright, so we do darkness twice. This is gonna be 14. So 27. This is gonna be on loop once. Well, 20, 27 is gonna be 34, then loop once. 41. So dual cast plus electrodynamics wins. Be a genetic plate. Thoughts. Hmm. Thank you, seventy-seven. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the donation. I'm sorry, my, my alerts being fucked up. It's weird. But also with Sobia, thanks for Twitch Prime. Appreciate it. We could have found Quota Double Defrag. We could have done that, yeah. Could have done that. And I guess, th was that, did that say more life overall? Hey, what's up, Craig? Do we like consume here? Move loop. Do we like consumer loop here? What about another ball lightning? No, I like darkness here. Shipping beam, we have electrodynamics. I think shipping beam is pretty good. But electrodynamics being the deck's modern drawing, that is probably better here. This is a rough fight. I want to get Art of War here. So it's important to me that I get self-repair and genetic algorithm out. And what do you know, boys? What do you know? Don't ask twice. More frost. Mm, more frost on the... Hmm. Quad is not that good from his deck. Pyramid quad aren't the best with three energy at the moment. Recycle is nice. I guess frost itself is pretty good. It helps with darkness as well. Large, very large. If there's a, a scale from small to huge, this is relatively huge. A tiny bit gargantuan. Minor bit heavy and huge. Okay, so we can go for another elite. We can go for a shop. Uh, the shop could be something we can find bias cog. You know, it, there is a possibility bias cog is just right there for a rare, and I can buy it. Now, by fighting elite, you also get a chance, a higher chance of rare as well, right? Now, if we had Rod, ugh, Dennis Rodman, where are you? It was expensive, guys. It was too expensive. Too expensive. It's like 320 bucks. 329. Okay. Two how effects are pretty rough. I'm gonna rest and do another elite. I like I like slaver fight for me. I enjoy the slaver fight. I wanna save hologram here. I wanna get Art of War as well. 
Now I gotta be really quickly because the wounds will drastically and quickly become problematic. So rebound becomes an interesting thing to think about. Okay, so do we have a rebound weak in here? Is crucial we find electrodynamics yesterday. So it's currently today we wanted it yesterday. So that means a rebound is something that's something I particularly really want to do because I'd rather draw into new cards. But there's a, there's a world where you weaken twice. But I think electrodynamics is that much more important. I think electrodynamics is extremely important. So there's a world where we recycle reinforced body, and we quite literally play cards, cool edit, go, hologram cool edit again. I'd rather kill that guy first. Oh boy, oh brother, oh boy. Thank you, Lunek. How you doing, buddy? All right. I need to get to rebounds. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be vulnerable next turn. <coughs> Do I want to do loop and then dual cast now and get dark on loop? Is that the most proactive thing? I want to save dual cast for loop next turn, right? For dark next turn. So I want to do dual cast to get dark on loop. That's pretty nice because it's another 24 damage. So that if I just play electrodynamics, I just kill things. But then, um, pl but having dual cast for dark is also pretty good. But the problem is if I draw electrodynamics, I'm not going to... I guess there's a world where I could do... um. Ball letting dark. The rebound will cast it next turn. This is going to be enough to kill that guy. Do I survive the other fight though? Uh, what if I loop defense? I want to make sure I don't rebound maybe because I think drawing electro is super huge here, right? Well, at this point, we're going to take damage next turn. Oh, take care of Secretum. This is tough. Do I get Tori here if I do this? 21. I get Tori if I do defend. That seems pretty important. So, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. If I do ball lightning first, the one dark kills that guy. The other dark goes here. So this guy's going to be at 21. But since this lightning's getting omitted, it's going to be 8 AoE. And then another 9 AoE. So that's 17. That doesn't kill him. It's off by... A little bit. Now, if I do ball lightning, dual cast, that guy gets hit, and then this guy gets hit for 18. The 21 again. It's not as good. If I do electro dual cast, both the dark goes to this guy. So then I just have nine if I do dual cast after the fact. 
Um, sixteen, sixteen plus nine, not enough. <laughs> this deck is about three hundred. Yeah. So the problem is if you if you do ball laning, your your dark is efficient. If in terms of if this goes to that guy, this one goes to that guy. If you don't do ball laning first, then both darks wasted on one guy, which is probably important. It might be Defrag, Ball, Lightning, Dual Cast, next turn Electrodynamics. If we get blessed, we could kill two of them right now. I'm gonna go for it. Let me just double check the math. This guy dies 18, so it's 21. And I only have 8 plus 9, 17. Hashtag blessed. Fucking huge. What's two lightning's chances? Would you put genetic or did it? Sunder, oh man, Sunder, Sunder Pyramid is. 50% chance, 50% chance with two orbs, so. Uh, it was not bad. We were gonna take damage regardless. I feel like the best play. Sunder is a really nice pyramid. But at this point, I'm running out of targets for it. I think 70, 75 to 25 hours are really good. I've done worse things. I've done a lot worse things. I think 75 to 25 is really good odds. The alternative wasn't that much better. Oh, okay. I don't think we take Sunder here because... Well, here's the thing with Sunder. It can be good for the, the minions here. But I don't have beam cell this time. We have a distinct lack of beam cell, right? So Sunder was a pop off when I had beam cell, but we do not have beam cell, and the deck is probably doing dark orb stuff instead. Recycle can use Sunder as it's recycle fodder, sure, and it also has a place to do energy and clear your hand and do things. And it, it does have a place to kill the, the things, little ads that he has, the minions. But I don't have it's not upgraded, and I don't have beam cell this time, so it's a little bit less good. Was beam the demon glib is pretty good. But that's kind of expensive as well. It's a Doomingloom Plus. But it's very expensive for what the deck is currently doing. But I wonder if it's just worth it. We have Electrodynamics. This should be enough. And Dark Orb should be enough as well. Hmm. Do I ever want to rest for this fight? The silent neuters itself. I want to stall there because I want to get self repair and genetic out. So I don't want to kill too fast. You know that feeling when you don't want it to kill too fast? 
You know what I mean? Okay, there's one. Oh wait, I killed too fast no matter what. Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good. I wanna get genetic out. Genetic, please. Please. Puppy, please. Oh, I was trying to greed, but then I got Mercury. Oh, Mercury, I work less. How do we, how do we greet this? It's impossible. It's too late. R.I.P. Can I heal it? Nope. Do it. Another reinforced body, which could be double energy with recycle or just a stupid block card. Sometimes we don't have energy, but with recycle, sometimes we get energy or sometimes that gives us energy. It's not bad. I actually like another one. Okay, so we have Clockwork Souvenir, so we don't like Mutagenic Strength. And I don't think we value Strikes too much because we have Art of War. We actually like the deck without Strikes because we're Art of Warring quite a bit. But the thing is, we do have good block outside of Defense. So like I said, we get rid of one Defense. We have Reinforced Body and Frost that we'd probably rather do. But we don't like Strikes because of Art of War most of the time. A proof now this one this one's a doozy this one wants to be um thrown to the events of the gods but what that one can do is we have an artifact so that could be a we it can come up clutch we do have an artifact for now later on we're probably gonna want to throw it to the wolves seek is very nice the uh run the deck's looking nice what's up blind speed runs all right, I don't want to rest. Imagine a world where you have Pyramid 3 energy. You got through Act 2. You don't rest. You get more upgrades. And you win. And then you get an energy relic or something like crazy from the boss. And then you're even winning harder because Pyramid is disgusting. Problem is I didn't take Buffer in Act 1. And I don't know how I'm blocking the Hyper Beam here. Does resting make us block the Hyper Beam better? What's up, Zyware? What if we need to do like loop, reinforce body? We need to get weakened, right? Weakening is really important. But how can we consistently get weakened here? I think weakening will allow us to block the um, hyper beam for sure. I don't know if we can. We can try to prioritize it with hologram to get weak enough. Now, it's the hyper beam that I'm worried about. Like, I need this to be important for block as well. I might have to do, like, Recycle Hyper Beam, Reinforce Body. Very nice, Zyra. I know it also kind of sucks, but, like, uh, at least you'd be home and safer. And you get to watch the stream and do some stuff or whatever you want to do. Hope, hope everything's okay over there. A lot of people are working from home. What's up, uh, Egg Parmesan? AKA wink and watch streams. That's what I do at work anyways. So guys, I have a question. You want a flex spot here? You guys never ask me why you can't see my left hand in this frame. It's your fault for not asking. I've been streaming earlier, so I've, I've been streaming like, um, like 12 to 1, 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern. So, do you think it's better to use Flex now for the strength to get a little bit more oomph, oomph, oomph? Or do we want to save it for Hyper Beam for that one eventful turn for AoE? That's 
That's crazy, man. Yeah, Europe's getting hit hard. Okay. Here's the problem, guys. I want Art of War. And I know why. I want to get the reinforced body back at some point. So we're looking at 32 damage. Now, if you do the math. Oh, man, this is a turn. Okay, 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 okay. I, I meant to rebound and recycle. Fuck. Remember when I talked about that silly Jeremy who makes silly mistakes and does things without thinking? Yeah. There's the monkey. The monkey also procrastinates. Alright. Well, this should be fine though. Oh boy, Electro is mighty strong. Electro Hyper Beam. I want to get Loop out. I want to bring back... I want to bring back Hologram. I get rid of my Frost, but I, I think getting the minions killed drastically increases my chances of winning this run. I guess we can argue that we don't need Hyper Beam now. So we'd rather like get out of war and do it next turn. Cause I wanted to rebound and go for the eyes, it's really important. I want to get frost back. If I get frost back and rebungle for the eyes, we I can actually weaken him. No, I can't. I won't be able to get weakened, but I can get rid of artifacts though. I could get rid of artifacts though. If we even go for the eyes, I can get rid of artifacts for the future of the run, but for the hyper beam itself, it won't be weakened. You know what I mean? So let me think. So I also want to get frost going. I also want to keep getting more cool headers. So I kind of want to hologram for the frost and get that going. I also want to bring back my, my main reinforced body that's really important. I have a lot of things I need to do. Take damage here, right? What if I just recycle and try to draw back into reinforced body anyways? Seems like a bad strategy, right? Seems like a bad strategy. If I recycle, I can make my deck much cleaner. But if I bring back Reinforced Body, I have it already f for the Hyper Beam turn, which is pretty important. So I'm, I'm conflicted if I want to bring Reinforced Body now or just recycle and try to like maybe...
So I want to do rainbow, but I really want to draw more cards. Rest assured we won't lose next turn. That's an important distinction to make. I wonder if I want to get rid of the artifact now, or I'll just naturally win the fight through Dark Corpse. My dual cast we're about to win. So dual cast is 140. 140 plus 26. 166. Plus 10, plus 20, plus 20. We have lethal. Rolling Butterfield with a thousand bits. Thank you, dude. Ferry the bottle, huge. Appreciate it, man. All right, we have flex spot for the future, and we got Thunderstrike. Wait, we've been down this road before. There was a road where Defects had a pyramid and a Thunderstrike, but this is a different deck, a different time, different era. Now, machine learning is sometimes good for the pyramid, right? So if you have zero cost cards and recycle, you can draw more cards and fill up quicker. But one problem that I have is. One, I don't have energy. At least not guaranteed. We do have Recycle Go for the Eyes. And, you know, we can play Reaper's Body for zero just to kind of free our hands. I mean, I like Machine Learning more than Skip, usually. Now, there's also a world where Second Electro Damage, so we can guarantee we get our AoE. So, Second Electro Damage is cool for that. So, it's probably just Machine Learning. It's either Machine Learning or Skip. What does the magic eight ball tell us? Skip or remission learning? Thunderstrike is interesting. No. I want energy, so maybe we just choke ourselves out here. Sometimes choking can be bad. Uh, do I keep Hyper Beam? I mean, for now, Hyper Beam is like good AoE that we can use our artifact for. I don't want it late game. But I can always recycle it for energy, not the worst. Now, Astrolabe, if I do it, I get rid of two defense and a strike. Astrolabe has a place here, but energy is probably better. Does Choker ever choke us out? Sometimes. With Recycle, or Seek, and Go for the Eyes, those are the zero cost cards. You can get choked out pretty easily on those turns. Like any turns we recycle, probably gets choked out. Turns with Seek, probably get choked out sometimes. But on average, having four energy should help a lot for bigger reinforced bodies, for more cards played, and better use of machine learning. Now, there's a world we do Astrolabe. Boom, boom, boom. Get rid of three cards. And then we get energy in the form of Recycle and Art of War. I like Zap. I think Zap's pretty important when I have something like Darkness in the deck. 
So any orb generation for darkness to push it forward and it seems pretty important to have Zap at times. I think there's other ways we have like I don't know, I think Art of War is so important here that I like Zap more than Ball Lighting for those purposes. So like we could use Art of War as, a, as an energy relic. And get rid of these two card, three cards. And recycle is the energy as well. We do have energy at times. I just don't know if actually it's better than four energy here though. Stuff choice. We've been getting a lot of value of Art of War. I'm gonna do this. Wait, we could do Dome actually. I didn't talk about it. I mean... So we don't really discriminate between multi attacks and big attacks, and usually it's important to know, I would say, but I have a lot of gold courier, so let's hit a shop. Should I get the gold event? That would be huge, right? Jeez. Painful. Alright, what cards are we looking for? We have Seek, so Apotheosis is probably okay, right? What does Apotheosis do for us? It upgrades everything. I think with Seek, Apotheosis is a little bit better to find here. What else? With Pyramid, a lot of things are good for like a uh, Panic Button are good. Um, Seek Janique is pretty good. These are not the cards. I was looking for like Dark Shackles. Something of that sort. Each another greatest. We could take like purity. Purity could be an interesting tech to manage statuses because we don't really manage statuses that well. This is gonna be in my hand. Maybe sometimes doing nothing, but you know things like burns and wounds are pretty rough. I could try to save it. Maybe maybe that. I don't know if it's bloaty. It might be a little bit bloaty, honestly. But there's a world where this manages statuses beautifully. Hmm, could be bloaty though. Um, I'm leaning towards bloat. <sighs> I'm gonna use the bathroom. It just so happens that my bathroom gets coincided with. Okay, I'll be right back though. Mwah. Oh! This is a dream. This isn't happening. Pinch me. Pinch me. Alright, be right back. Ooh. What do we bottle? What do we bottle? Is this a defrag bottle? What about Electro? For Dona Deca. Defrag's pretty important. Electro, Electro is sometimes good for the um, defrag here, but I mean, uh, for Dorn Deco, but defrag is better overall. What about loop actually? Loop is pretty important to get. No, it's defrag, but loop is pretty important for dark to have. Not dark, but frost for the, the heart. Beat of death heart. Let's see if we get biased. Yeah, we should see if we get biased. How do I see this though? I don't want to bias prepared and look for biased. Uh, what other cards am I looking for? I have Choker. I have like Energy Ball here, but... 
If we get past, that'd be insane. <sighs> Man, it's Christmas. Do we like white piece statue here? I'm trying to decide. It, trying to bottle makes white piece statue a little bit worse, uh, but I don't want this flex normally. Okay. Let's go for the next shops then. I don't think white piece. And that piece could be useful, but. Nah, I think we're gonna skip here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So if we go to the shops here, we get more healing and more cars to see. Now. Are we scared of this elite? Probably not, right? Hand agreed. Oh, I mean, I didn't. I didn't look at hand agreed. Maybe hand agreed. I could have gotten like a decent amount of gold back, right? Yeah, hand agreed could have been useful for the next act four shop. I should have thought about it. I like machine learning upgrade here or reinforced body because we have defrag opening hand already. This fight is actually difficult. I I could die here, maybe. Pretty shitty hands. I need creative eye because I have way too much excess energy a lot of the time. Some poor siren. I need a way to spend energy a lot of times. Like I need creative value because I spent like 
tons of turns of doing nothing. We have fairy, fairy's fine, but um What if I dual cast now and pop off? Or do I have to wait longer? Can I finish the fight with if I dual cast now, can I finish the fight? I had to branch, but I had no cards for it. Crouch to do the run deck tight, lucky me. But uh Oh there you go, I got corruption for Deppards. Right, peace out man. I can do 142, right? If I wait a turn, I get 27 more, 27, 50, 50, 54 more damage. All right. For some reason I thought chat was correct. I don't know why. For a second I thought <laughs> For a second I just trusted Twitch chat. I wasn't even looking at their own game. I was just like, yeah, Twitch chat knows what they're talking about. That's a good point. Um Well that changes things a little bit. a lot more left there. Calipers. I think calipers would be good here. Calipers would be good here. Calipers would be good here. Did I play genetic? I haven't played genetic yet. Oopsies. How do I get genetic play? Oh. Unfortunate. I should have tried to practice genetic gear. It's an important card. Another rebound. Can you imagine if your caliber is actually detrimental? Uh, sometimes. Self forming clay? No. Wait. I could imagine the situation. I'll, I'll get back to you. I could imagine the situation, yes. 
or recalc them. Sometimes. It, there's some situations. I'll, I'll, I'll think about a perfect solution for you. Ah. Salem, you're my dad again. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Do we like Apotheosis for upgrades? Do we just like it or not necessary? It upgrades a decent amount of cards, but also not that many cards. So, do we take a Capacitor here? Okay. Do we take Ori and see what we can find? Thoughts on Potion Belt? Thoughts on Lantern? That's an orrery here at this point. Oh, I'm worried. Nope. Okay. Orrery. Well, let's see what we're going to move first. We want to remove the last strike. And then Apotheos is going to upgrade our defense sometimes. And also upgrade our dual cast or our co-edit. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I see this. Do we, do we like a second recycle? What about Go for the guys plus. No. What second recycle though? We have choker, so recycle is not as good. Like recycle is pretty good for. Uh, I think choker makes it worse. What if I, what if a chemical X pops up? I can't see the other things right now. Ah, I wish I could take one of these, but I don't think I, I don't think I can. I think we passed then. I don't I think we determined we don't like apotheosis, right? What about compile? Compile is card draw. Also, gamblers is pretty good potion to have. I think I'll save for the next shop. Let's take one damage here to get card draw. Let's take one damage I don't have to take though, right? We're gonna heal up anyways though. I can take one damage, I guess. I can get Electro out of the way. TG Ben, what's up, Reloading? A 
Let's put Dark on loop. My friends. Let's go for the kill, my friends. You guys ready to go for the kill? You guys ready? I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. But I put Ancient Spreader on one. Oof. We'll fix that next turn. Should we stall for Ancient Spreader? Doing quests for what? Path to Exile? Are you thoroughly addicted? I can put Ancient Spreader on a higher number for the next fight, right? Yeah. Sure. I'm doing Tarkov tasks? Well, that's lame. Oh boy. Is this what we want for the hot? One second. Alright, dude. Uh. Uh. Just not enough. It's just not enough for Tori. Or am I cra cra crazy? That's unfortunate. Oh no, we have lightning. Durr. Uh, who lives in a lightning under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. He's colder and yellow and darker than me or something. Fun Bob Square Pants. Where's my loop? Huge. Oh boy, that is a doozy. Get rid of all of them. All of it. I want it all gone. Come here, big boy. Incense burner on the perfect number. I incense burner on the perfect number. It was a moment of glory. It was a moment of story. Incense burner on the perfect number. I'm an incense burner. All right, so now we get offered beam cell and stack. Now beam cell does uh, artifact things, and stack is something you hold for pyramid, and then it's quite nice. Your dog is sad and isn't putting weight on. Aww, that's really sad to hear. I hope your dog feels better. This stack is getting fatter and fatter. Can we like stack here? I don't think we need it at this point, right? Stack is cool, pyramid, but it's probably not necessary. 
Vulnerable does not apply to orbs, no, but it does get rid of artifacts. We, we, we have Glacier, we have Kuwait, we have Reinforced Body for Block. I mean, in the world where we had Chemical X Reinforced Body, we still had a stack, and that was quite big. But it was a stack plus, which makes it a little bit better. I, I want to upgrade Capacitor instead. What do we got here? I low-key want to find Chemical X at this point. So do we remove another card and end? And we go over to Act 4 Shop? These are not very good stuff. Uh, this stuff. None of this stuff is good. None of this is good. Discovery Defect is... I mean... I'm tempted. That could also be Bias Cog. Sometimes. Uh, I don't know if I want Discovery. I think I just want to remove... But I can save my money for the next shop though. Is removal better than saving money? Because we still want to recycle targets. So this is a recycle target and purity targets. I think Discovery is one of my favorites. You know, you're pulling on my favorite heart right now. Like, you're talking about Discovery and you know I like it. It's, it's unfair. You're doing me dirty. I'm not sure where that's supposed to be. Is that the giant head? Is that supposed to be the giant head? This is the only card in the game that references other cards in its pictures. Like, quite literally, I mean. That's gotta be worth something. Hell yeah. I neglect the discovery and I upgraded this instead. Alright. Alright, soldier, alright. I want to save Hologram. Ingo, actually, nobody's ever won on the defect before. So it's, I don't think it's the easiest because he's never been won with before. I got you.
want to restack this. How do I slow this fight down? How do I slow this fight down? Can I slow it down? How do I slow you down? Ended on four, right? You can't do infinite exhume. I'm gonna tell you what's broken right now. Let me finish this pizza slice. Also, I know it's a lot of pizza, but I'll tell you what's broken right now. One second. Doing zoom infinite. Now what's broken is this. You have tungsten rod. You have blue candle. I'm painting a picture for you, okay? Tungsten rod, blue candle. You have corruption. You have dead branch. You have necronomicurse. You have phenol pain. I know it seems like a lot of things. It's a lot of things. It really is. But this is what happened to me. Blue candle, necronomicurs, tungsten rod. I had corruption, dead branch, phenol pain. Whenever I ran out of skills. I tapped the Necronomicers for free, got block, got skills, theoretically infinite skills. And if it hits, if it hits an attack, it's unfortunate. But you can just keep doing Necronomicers with blue candle nonstop, getting block, taking no damage with the tungsten rod. And I actually had that happen to me, and it was goddamn glorious. I'm still eating. So, can we eat and turn this fight? If I get... If I get, um... Frost on loop? Probably eat and, eat and turn this fight, right? special thing going on you say it's puppy love I say it's fully grown I want to get rid of lightning at some point calipers would be good here
All right, let's see if we get Edie turn here. Unless we want to, one sec. Unless we want to uh, push for damage somehow, which I'm not sure how we're gonna go accomplish. I mean, how are we doing this? We just are we just are we really just eat and turn? Now it's, now it's impossible. He's too much strength now. Gotta wait till four now. Gotta wait till four. I don't touch anything because I don't need to touch anything and let everything just be as it is. Slimes and all. Theoretically you could. But it's also you don't need to. Alright. I think static discharge plus is going to be huge, right? It's got to be huge. Buy his cog. Okay. So we buy loop because loop is good. Right, toolbox could be good too. What about these potions though? I think Fairy the Bottle is good at this point. Multicast. Well, multicast looks pretty good. We like the loop. Bias call that. Imagine it. Does it manifest it? So we want to remove maybe a. Can remove a zap at this point. Or defend. Um. Or a Calcum's cool for the turn. No. Toolbox, we like the members more than flex pot. I think the flex pot is not as good as the members here. Although, yeah, flex pot's not as good here. 
We can still find calipers, yeah. We can buy two bucks to find calipers. That's pretty good, right? But how good is that really? Do I want to buy potions to find more decks? More dexterity means my, my reinforced bodies are really good. Like, I don't know how good this really is, though. Like, I don't really need the energy. I'm, I'm doing just fine. In fact, I'm running... Sometimes I have too much energy. Maybe looking for potions is better. Get rid of flex. Maybe look for, like, a dexterity bar or something. I can't really think for calibers here, because I, I can't afford it if it comes up. If I... I can't afford calibers if it comes up here. I can't really dig for buys. I, I don't want. I don't want another side of discharge. Penance is not important because I have clockwork souvenir for the more anyways. I guess I could use it for potions, but mm, I don't really need it otherwise. I mean, I can dig for potions here. I mean, I can dig for buys, but. Mm. Mm. Dropper versus energy pot. Hmm. At this point, I'd rather remove. Move at hand for pyramid. Um, no, it's not that useful. Cause, I mean, yeah, empties my hand, sure, but. I have choker and also I have excess energy at times. Well, the guys could be good for dark corps. But uh, we have selected church plus now. I think I'd rather remove. A singular defend now. Oh, well, maybe defense better now with dexterity pot, and I want to remove the. Um, Zap at this point. Yeah, we probably move Zap at this point. I intend to use Static Discharge with a Wing Con. I think we move Zap at this point. I don't know if I want to keep digging for potions. I think the potions I have are fine. I mean, Panacea could be useful, but eh. I think we move here. Eh, I don't need Zap. Make the deck even cleaner for statuses and stuff. No. We can buy Static Discharge and hopefully find Ice Cog, but. What if I do a second Static. So what if I have three static discharge? Like every time I get hit, it does three damage. Is that more important? No, I don't think so. I think I'm happy with this. I could afford multicast for static number two, but mm, as far as multicast is concerned, sometimes it's really big frost and really big block for frost, and sometimes it's big dark orb damage. I wonder if that's necessary. I came to the conclusion that it wasn't. So what attacks can I bring? I can bring out my Weaken, my Rebound, my Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam could be useful for this fight. Also make my, my next draws even better. If I did it, I can get my... my I think going pushing you for darkness here it seems to be really. I think mean, multicast is really good for this, this fight in general. Like multicast for darkness. Like I think. I think darkness is really proactive in this fight, right? Do I want to use hyper beam now so that he's about to do something to me? I can I can take my matter in my own hands and and get hyper beam out of the way. And it helps me push damage a little bit. Or I can just stop whatever he's gonna do to me. And use this in my and hold this in my hand for recycle or for other things. I could rebound weakened. I can weaken this guy next turn. I wanna push damage dual casts. Also, luxury dynamics exist. I could, also, I could seek out. I could also seek out. Oh, I can almost go for lethal here with dual casts. Hyper, hyper beam. I'm, I'm close to lethal, aren't I? Cool. 
cool headed dual cast dual cast is that kill that is 66 plus 48 that's a lethal that's worth it right because that guy seems pretty worth it and then it's just a 1v1 yay nay Maybe I do go for the eyes and kill him. Mm. Do I have more trouble killing the guy on the left and right anyways though? Because now I want to be out of darkness. Don't I have more trouble with the guy on the right anyways though? But the guy on the right is more threatening anyways. Because now if I do that, then I won't- how do I block next turn? The problem is, I have to go for the eyes, which means I don't get out of war next turn. Drying burns doesn't bother me as much. I'd rather feel my hand like this. I should have got rid of something that was on burns. There's impurity there. Dog needed water. Okay, so at this point I gotta stall for uh, six turns. Can I stall for six turns? Six times 18. I can, but if he attacks me, then it's, it's harder to stall, right? It's a little bit harder to stall here. I want to get rid of the lightning altogether so I can stall for six turns. Otherwise, it's really hard to. Because he multi attacks himself. Do I have to get rid of my focus to make stalling easier? <laughs> Do I have to get rid of my focus so that I don't do as much lightning damage? He's gonna hurt himself too much. 
He's doing so much self damage. It makes my have less focus, so it doesn't do as much lightning damage. Uh, Alright. Well, he's doing 12 to himself. 12 plus. He's about. It, it might end on 3. If it ends on 3, it's not the worst. This is a good place for reprogram. It's ending on 2, which is terrible. Because of fucking. I gotta kill now. Two is terrible, so I'll end at one, which is not the best, but it's better than nothing. Do you like compile for card draw here? All right, I gotta walk my dogs, guys. I know we're at the climax of the event, but my dogs are crying. I'll be right back. Be back in a jiffy. Alright guys, my apologies. My apologies. Whoa! Wow, this is actually kind of huge. Okay. We're back. We walk the dogs. Let's focus on what's going on here. Alright. So, do we want the guaranteed weakening which saves us a lot of life? Do we want secret technique which brings us Glacier? Or reinforced body? Or genetic algorithm? Do we want master strategy to draw more cards? Guarantee weakens is kind of nice, right? Because it also helps artifacts later on. And it gets quite a bit of damage right now. Secret technique it could be genetic algorithm, could be glacier, could be seek for. Secret technique could be seek for um, capacitor early or loop early. Blind gives me weakened for the two attacks. And gets rid of artifacts later for more weakening down the line, which could be pretty crucial. Hmm. Secret technique could be anything. It could be the seek, which could then be anything. So secret technique could be anything. Doubt, would I rather? Eat something. All right. See if you can be anything. Is there anything that I really want right now? Is there anything I really, really want? Is there any power that I need? I already have defect opening hand. Do I want to get static discharge out early to start doing early damage? Is that why I do secret technique? Because I want to get static discharge and start doing early damage. Is that how we push the damage cap to get static discharge immediately? Because there's a world where we don't get it right away, right? So if we do set secret technique, we can get set extra charge going for damage. And we have we have we have uh, and we have Tori. So maybe getting set extra charge start sh sh pushing damage is like pretty relevant here for damage cap. We got seek anyways. <laughs> Son of a gun! You sneaky bastard! You cheeky gremlin. Alright, so we got a genetic algorithm though. I think Sagittarius Charge is pretty important though. Because we can see what we draw first, I suppose. Get some frost. We got weakened, anyways. 
and we got loop out. Uh, the thing is, I want to don't I don't want to draw right now. Got the void out of the way. That's fine. Got slimed as well. I don't want to draw. I want to block. So I might do genetic now, even though it's really good later on. Just because I want to get out of my deck first off, but I also I could rebound and go for the eyes as well and get stack up the weaken. I could also bring purity and get rid of burn and slime right now. It also take a hit. Do I want to rebound? I have hologram. I like that better. Pretty seems pretty nice, right? Do we care about taking damage here? It's purity out of the deck as well, you know. Do we mind taking damage here? I don't mind taking damage too much. I don't even think I want to block this. I do want to get loop out. It's not repair out. And then I don't really want to block. I also want to get go for the ash. Well, yeah, I want to get go for that so I can have weaken for the first attack. But the first attack is going to be instant spinner anyway. So I can save it for the artifacts. I'm happy with that, right? Do I want to push more damage? I mean... Now, if the next attack is a multi-hit, then... Okay, okay, slow down, okay. I don't want to get Rainbow out and Frost out. This is multi-hit. Alright, I'm actually glad it's not the multi-hit. I actually... I want to take damage next turn as well. I want to start getting the... Uh, do I want to take Glacier? I want to keep. I think I want to keep Lightning for damage, right? Do I, want to get, I mean, the problem with all this is that I like Dark on Loop better for damage. Although, actually, next turn it's already damage cap next turn. So ready damage cap next turn. We can keep everything for later for lethal later on. I can do dual cast now to get the damage cap for this turn. We keep lighting on loop. Life is gonna be a loop regardless. I can get rid of the artifacts as well. So the next time I draw into weaken. So now weaken's always a play. I can get rid of the wounds. And we still have fairy. And now we have uh we have magic machine learning here. So now you want to set up lethal.
Game over. And GG. A lot of potions I didn't use. It's too fucking easy, actually. That's disappointing. I'm disappointed. Inspired disappointed me today. I'm ashamed. That was not a hard fight. Pyramid's too strong when you get to the Act 4 with it, though, to be honest. I mean, we had challenges in this run. For sure.